Hello, it is Saturday the 14th of March and we are in the peak of Corona Gate. Um, I've been dead chill up until now, but I would say I'm starting to get a little bit stressed, not gonna lie. Oh, coughing in the background, Colby, that is bad timing. Um, he's getting aggy because he's waiting for his breakfast. But yeah, we're gonna go for a shop today. So I'm gonna show you guys what we've got in the cupboards, which isn't all that much, but I mean, if we got a survival on it, I guess we could. And then I'm gonna show you what there is in the shops to see if it is as bad as what I've kind of seen on social media. And yeah, let's see how we get on, see what we managed to get. The one thing I am bothered about is obviously things for Colby. We've got plenty of nappies. We could do with some wipes, but we have actually not got a spare box of formula. But I guess worst case scenario, he is almost one. We'll just have to wean him onto cow's milk, but obviously I don't really want to do that. But that's just what's on my mind at the moment. So yes, let me show you what we got in the cupboards. This is our very bare fridge. We've got four, is that four yogurts? Yeah, four yogurts, some open bacon eggs. I think we've got a fair few of those to be honest. Yeah, we've got at least six eggs, a leftover roast dinner, which Carvey's gonna have for his lunch some butternut squash spaghetti, some orange juice. Um, that's Colby's fish pie for his dinner, a beer, obviously an essential in the peak of coronavirus. Some mint sauce and some apple sauce. No idea what they're doing there. That's obviously my husband having a move around in the fridge. We've got some fruits for Colby. And then we've got some olives. We've got a whole block of cheese, a little bit of cheese there, and then just some snacky bits. So some cheese strings, a little yogurt, and a Dairyly Dunker. And then in the side of the fridge, we've just got, I mean, it's just a load of rubbish really and sauces. We've got some oat milk, just in case we run out of milk, because I like to have that in my coffee. Um, and then the all important knockoff Baileys and ketchup. Freezer, which I tell you now is an absolute mess. We've got, well that's not really anything, there's a tiny few chips, maybe about six slices of bread, Okay, we've got a lot of waffles, that's good. We've got another packet of waffles there. Down there, we've got some cod and garlic cracker. Then we've got some more bread. I've just frozen that, it was out of date, but I checked it and it wasn't mouldy or anything. Some pitters, two chicken breasts, a pie, and what's that, some crumpets. Three crumpets in there. And then we've got a Thai curry, some of Colby's, um, just like frozen bits and bobs, which and then some peas and sweet corn. So we've got bits, but it's mainly like sauces and stuff and what we're gonna have with it. And then in our larder cupboard, we've got a full box of Audi's version of Cocoa Pops, a full Weetabix, and then some half opened, some shredded wheat, some porridge oats, what's that in there? Do you know, I can I don't even know what that is. I can't reach up there. Then we've got, um, I've had a rummage through, so we've got, a sourdough baguette, some wraps that I sometimes do Colby for lunch, marmite. We have actually got a fair bit of pasta. So we've got some fusilli, is that how you say it? Some of that, and then some penne, some noodles, some risotto rice, some peanuts. Obviously they're an essential in the middle of a life crisis. Um, some apple squash, marmite, honey, garden syrup. Then we've got, this is actually not too bad. So we've got, oh my God. So I I always do this thing where I don't know what we've got in the cupboard. So I sometimes just buy extras. I promise I have not been stockpiling, but we've got four coconut milks. Um, that's actually some wraps in there as well. I didn't know we had those. Lasagna sheets. So I guess worst case scenario, we can just have lasagna. Uh, two passatas, two of the microwave rices. And then we've got tuna, Uncle Ben's, applesauce yeah so this is actually a funny story to tell you about the tuna we once had a cupboard clear out and we found that i had like eight of those tins of tuna because i always buy it when it's on offer and then i posted a picture on my instagram and everyone was like oh my god do you like tuna that's crazy and then pretty much in there it's just sauces spices herbs stock cubes and then we've got two packets of quavers that's looking a little bit bare and then we've got our baking cupboard so we could probably do, I don't think we've got much plain flour. We could probably do with a bit more of that. Um, so yes, so we are just on route. Oh my God, Colby is coughing. I promise I have checked his temperature. He has literally just had a cough for God knows how long. Um, sorry, I'm just checking the number again. I just didn't do. 
Um, so we're going Audi first, um, and then I'm guessing we'll go Tesco's because we need to get formula. Um, I'm a bit stressed about the formula situation because I have a feeling we're going to get there and there isn't going to be any. So if that is the case, I guess we're just going to... Oh, Mike is driving a bit too bumpy. Um, we're just probably going to have to wean him onto cow's milk. It's his birthday next Saturday, so it's not too early. But we're meant to be going to Lanzarote on the 2nd of April. And I obviously didn't really want him on whole milk in a foreign country for like the first kind of week that we've been doing it. But whatever, we'll just see what happens when we get to Tesco's. But we're almost at Aldi because we literally live two minutes away. So let's see what we can get. And we are going in. It's absolutely this is also the key hack. There we go. Win, win, win. Oh, and there's plenty of Easter eggs. So that's a good start. Just getting Colbs in the trolley. Colby, you're going to go shopping. You love an Aldi trip, don't you? Well, there's absolutely loads of fruit. And look at all of that so far. So good. first empty shelf, which is all of like the part bake stuff. So like part baked sourdough baguette, got one of those in the fridge anyway, and all the part baked rolls. There are none whatsoever. So they've literally got no like pasta sauces, rice. Okay, they've got couscous, they've got naan bread, they've got papa doms, none of the pasta bakes or anything. Like that. There's also loads of biscuits. I know people have said that shelves are like empty of biscuits and sweets and God knows what, but there are loads. The biggest joke of all, there literally is no toilet rolls. Not a single toilet roll. Wow. So these are our frozen aisles. They're not as bad as some of the pictures I've seen. I mean, they're looking a little bit lower than what they usually are but to be fair there's a fair amount of stuff in there as well as all the jars and tins of stuff here like the tuna and the mackerel there's loads so people are obviously being selective with what they like so oh i'll have unlimited pasta bake but i'm not going to eat mackerel the pizzas so there's still quite a lot of pizzas going on pot noodles and stuff there's a fair amount of those so people haven't gone completely crazy just like a little bit crazy so this is the kids section so we've got a fair few pouches but not a single baby wipe plenty of size three nappies plenty of size four nappies no baby wipes at all the milk aisle there's blue milk and that's it <laughs> is that funny is that funny Received in the bag, Colby. Um, so we've done our Aldi shop and now we're just off to Tesco's to get baby stuff basically. Oh, yeah. We've got What's It's keeping Colby happy on the shopping trip. His absolute favourite. Colby, are they nice? Colby. Not even listening, he's too busy eating his. Oh my god, okay, you've got two in your mouth. And we've got to be stingy. We're, we're reusing a one wipe. <laughs> Here's the wipe. We're getting the little cheeky boy out the car. There he is! <laughs> we've got our little helper. Thank you, Colby. So we've just left Tesco, or we're just leaving Tesco, I should say. And the only thing we didn't manage to get was um, toilet rolls. So I guess it... Colby? Don't know what he's doing in the background there. But yeah, the only thing we didn't manage to get was toilet rolls. So could be worse. We're going to eat. We're going to survive the corona apocalypse. <laughs> what is it? A push on a normal weekly shop. I'd say the only thing we didn't manage to get was toilet rolls. So God knows what we're going to use. We're going to have to do like one square per toilet trip. Um, so yeah, we got some syrup and sultana pancakes from Aldi, mints, salmon, sausages. I got these to try, which I think are like knockoff McCoys. So see what those are like. Just bananas, potatoes, butternut squash, broccoli onions, eggs, carrots, milk we had to go to Tesco's for because they had none in Aldi, baked beans, hot chocolate. I got these for Colby. He absolutely loves these. Some Nurofen because we're running a little bit low on that. Some paracetamol, biscuits, jive bars, some little Watsits from Aldi, jam, meat pie, some of these little organic treats for Colby, two bottles of squash, two boxes of formula. I'm so pleased we managed to get those because I was really worried about that, but there was loads there. 
Um, some Kid Delicious cheesy straws. Two of the little Tommy Tippy bibs because we're just running a little bit low on those. He needs some more sleep suits and vests. So I picked those up from Tesco's as well. Um, obviously, they weren't essentials this week, but he's sort of growing out of his six to nine ones. So I got those. Ketchup, plain flour, chicken goujons. I thought they looked well nice from Aldi. I'm not usually a chicken goujon lover, but they look pretty good. Jumbo pack of wipes from Tesco's. I do prefer the Aldi ones, but obviously they didn't have any. And then, as you can see, we've clearly eaten the other two.